ease you joy. Apparently, I'm being like just absolutely mauled and brutalized on Twitter. I don't even know what has little Miss Mara Nicolette just going off the deep end. But I mean, she just thinks, well, she, I, me, little me, who loves the sunshine and swans in the in the lake and river she fares the future because of me <laughs> she says marion it's folks like you that make me fare the future oh poor little child i don't even i don't want to like click on what it, what it is that upsets her like what about me that makes her fare the future i just feel like you know, <laughs> I don't know. It makes me giggle on a certain level to think I'm that powerful. And here I am sitting here thinking that I have no power and I'm this and that. I make someone fear the future. And, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, I think I suspect that what she's talking about is probably yesterday that I said that Harry would be the next king of England. And um, maybe I can see how that could upset some people just because, you know, for Harry to be the king of England, it obviously would mean that something really tragic occurred because there's William and, yes, I'm aware that William has three kids. But like I said yesterday, in fact, nothing tragic has to be, has to occur. I mean... King Edward um, abdicated because he met a woman that he loved more than the throne. So it's very, very easy for the king or the heir apparent to not be the king or the heir apparent anymore. And it does not have to mean that someone has died. Yes, of course, there are, um, you know, there are... Um, three other children that uh, that would would be uh, the the heirs before Harry and so I don't know if that's what makes her afraid maybe she thinks oh yeah she did say that there are three children ahead of him but I mean I think she needs to understand that maybe she needs to to do her own research that you know the line of succession and the laws of succession are are, are man-made laws right, that can be changed by, by the UK Parliament at any time. I, indeed, there doesn't even have to be a monarchy if, if the Parliament decides that there's no longer a monarchy and the people are in agreement, there's no monarchy and that can happen before the year is over. Um, you know, so it's not written in stone, Maura Nicolette, my darling, <laughs> to my understanding anyway, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's not written in stone that the British monarchy will continue forever or that the, li <clears throat> the line of succession of the British monarchy is, is written in stone. I mean, it's not, um, it's not necessarily unchangeable. It can be changed. A. B. Um, if William were to decide that he does not want to, to be king, and I, look, between you and me, there's not going to be a scenario in this lifetime where William makes such a decision. So what I said yesterday was just really kind of just, you know, just conversation. But let's say something unexpected happens, something unthinkable, something unplanned, something just unimaginable happens, whether good or bad. I mean, whatever, right? Life is what it is, right? And William is no longer king and there is some kind of parliamentary change or the three children that William has ha, has um, are not at the age of majority. They're not, you know, 18 or 21 or whatever age it is that they are required to be in order to, to be the next monarch. Um, then, you know, Harry would, would could be uh, some kind of stand in, um, regent until they are at the age of majority. So I, I, I don't think that it's, it's so far-fetched. I mean, it's far-fetched in the sense that William is not going to abdicate. 
<laughs> and Kate is not going to abdicate, at least not voluntarily. You know, something would have to happen that would force him to abdicate. But abdications have happened and they will continue to happen in the future. We, we just don't know. We just don't know what drives somebody to, to make that decision. And I'm just saying that to me, Harry has the feel of a king. You know, he, he really just said he's very kingly. I mean, maybe he will more than likely never be the king of England. You know, I'm just, you know, it's just conversation, you know, because believe it or not, I hope that William lives a long life and that he, he inherits the throne as he was intended to. And, um, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, people on Twitter are going absolutely bonkers. And I'm like, I don't really check my Twitter page too much. In fact, today may be the first time that I'm like looking at someone's tweet at me since I joined Twitter, or you know, since I, I set up this particular Twitter page. So Twitter is typically not the way to, to find me. <laughs> I mean, I tweet, but I don't read tweets, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's kind of funny. My darlings, happy Sunday to you all. I suggest you have some, um, especially little Maura. Poor little Maura. <laughs> she was a kindergarten child at one point. I wonder how she was in kindergarten, these little innocent little children, and what happened to her between then and now. You know, because something, you know, so much happens to us in our lives that changes us. Because, you know, you meet some children at, you know, four, five, six. They are so sweet. So sweet, so innocent. And then something terrible happens in life that changes us all into hateful, hateful human beings, beasts, really, absolute beasts. So, Mara, look, my suggestion, my darling, is, you know, have yourself some strawberry sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> that always puts me in a good mood and relax. I mean, William will be king. He should be king. It's his inheritance. It's his birthright. Um, you know, and I hope it works out for him. But if, if he decides he doesn't want to, I mean, and Harry steps in as a regent or something, I mean, you know, it's okay, right? It's not a big deal. I mean, who knows why he would do that? Maybe Kate will decide one day, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm over it. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay? I don't want to do this anymore. I want to move to New Zealand. I want to live on a farm. And William says, you know what, baby? You know what? I agree. And he, yeah, they, 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 this can happen. This can happen. And at that point, Harry steps in. It doesn't mean that anything tragic has to happen to William. Mara, Nicolay. Have yourself some strawberry sorbet, okay? Okay, voila. See you in the next one. Take care.